When people talk to me about a mindset, they're talking about a way of thinking. And trust me, you have a mindset right now, just like I have a mindset. It's how we view life. I know people with a negative mindset, which basically they view everything in a negative way. I know people with a positive mindset, which means they view everything in a positive way. People with an abundance mindset, a scarcity mindset. It's a way of thinking. The point of change is to improve. The question is, are you growing? Are you getting better? Have you missed the whole point? See, some of us, the reason why we don't change, the reason why we don't grow is because we miss the whole point of it. And we try to stay the same and we try to fight to keep everything exactly how it used to be. And we want to project a great life, but we don't actually want to focus on living an actually great life. The question is, how did we get there? How did we get that mindset? Through practice and habits. You see, the things I do today determines the habits I have tomorrow, which determines the mindset that I have for life. And the question becomes, if you died today, what dreams, what ideas, what abilities, what gifts, what talents would die with you? Maybe that's why one woman said, oh, God's reached the point of death only to realize that you've never lived. Maybe that's why Henry David Thoreau said, oh, God, to reach the point of death, to realize that you've never used all your potential, all of the things that had been instilled in you. Look, man, identify that God-given gift and get to pursuing it. I had a partner. When we was growing up, all he did was cut grass. I'm talking about he cut grass every day. Two dollars for the front, two dollars in the back. But boy, this boy was talented. He had one of them push lawn mowers with the single blade on it. He was so good, he could take the blade, lower it, and raise it. He could cut patterns in your yard with a push lawn mower. He could put your initials in your grass. You know how big that was in the hood? <laughs> you get a W in your damn yard. This boy was $2 for the front, $2 for the back. He didn't go play with us nowhere. We going to the swimming pool. Now nah, I got cut Miss Jackson grass. Hey man, we gonna go to the little uh, school dance. Now nah, I got to get up in the mill. I got, I got cut Miss Stanley yard. We used to laugh at it. A grass cutter, grass cutter. This boy today in Cleveland, Ohio, he got a landscaping company. You know how much this dude grosses every year? Four million dollars. Four million dollars. You know what he do? He cut grass. He got 38 trucks on the road. He got every contract in the city, every office building, every mall. He cut grass. He cut the grass so good when it snow in Cleveland, he put plows on the front of all 38 of them trucks. He got all the snow, move, snow removal contracts. This boy make $4 million. You know what he do? He cut grass. He cut grass. You may not understand why a business didn't make it, why a person walked away, why you came down with an illness. You were doing the right thing, but the wrong thing happened. It's all a part of the process. What did you used to be excited about? Now you think it's been too long, it's too big, it's not possible. You don't think you could write the book, finish school, see a marriage restored, start the business. No, get your passion back. You have not missed your opportunity. You have not had too many bad breaks. You're not lacking. You didn't get shortchanged. People can't stop you. Bad breaks, disappointments, loss. There are seeds of greatness in you right now. Dreams so big that you can't accomplish them on your own.